Good morning, good morning, my wonderful readers. It's English time, and today we have a new story. It's over here. So, are you ready for a new story? I wanna hear you shouting yes. Yes. You know what? Today I can't wait to start because the story is super fun. So let's get started. Okay, who's gonna help me today? I need someone to say the day and date. Day and date. I will give you a hint. Yesterday was Sunday. So who can tell me what comes after Sunday? Monday. Well done. So, Monday comes after Sunday. And who can read the date? April 13, 2020. Well done. So, everyone, here's the story that we are going to read today. So, please, everyone, get your English book because we are going to use it. And open page 198 up in page 198 so please I want you to follow my instructions so everyone by the end of the lesson you will be able to identify key ideas and details in the story and also read on level text with the purpose and understanding so, everyone, I will ask you to do something for me. So, can you do it? Listen, I want you, everyone, to close your eyes and imagine yourself flying in the big sky. So, I want you to tell me what can you see in the big sky during daytime I'm gonna give you some time so you are flying in the sky so what can you see I can see the Sun and I can see clouds so Sun and clouds what else can you see everyone so now imagine yourself flying but during night time night time so what can you see in the big sky during night time I can see the moon and I can see stars moon and stars and everyone I want to say something else Please, I want you to use your background knowledge because we've studied in science about the difference between daytime and nighttime. And we're going to use the information we have in the story of today. Look at the sky. What can we see in the sky? When we look to the sky in the daytime, we usually see the sun, unless the sun is behind the clouds. When the sun goes down, the sky grows dark. The moon appears. Sometimes we see the moon in different phases. We see full moons, half moons, or crescent moons. Day or night, there is always something to see in the sky. So everyone, before reading the story, we need to know something uh, very important, which is the gender of the story. And the genre here is fiction. Fiction. And we've studied before what does uh, fiction mean. So let's say it together. So fiction means... Fiction has made up characters and events. Made up characters and events. And we are going to talk about this later on. 
so everyone as i said to you so far we're going to use the english book so open page 198 and let's describe what can we see first of all let me talk about the setting the setting is uh where the story takes place so what is the setting of the story uh, school school and they are in the class room so what else can you see i can see a teacher and i can see students studying excellent so as you can see a teacher and students and what are they studying i think so they are studying science because on the board i can see planets and usually in science we learn about our solar system and about planets well done excellent so everyone and i want to talk also about characters and i need your help to tell me how many characters do you see and remember characters are the people who act the story out and they take part in the actions of the story so how many characters can you see four characters four characters one two three four so here is the teacher and what can you see tell me they are students they are students in the classroom studying as we said earlier uh, science so let's go and read the essential question what can we see in the sky read about what happens when two girls look for the big Dipper. So let's start the story. Let's start reading the story. And I want you please to listen carefully because I am going to ask you some questions after every, uh, after each paragraph. So everyone, here we go. And let's start with the title. And as I said to you, the genre of the story is fiction, and the fiction is made up characters and events so here's the title i'm gonna give you some time everyone try my smart readers to read the title and remember we should read the title before reading the story any story any story you uh pick from the library or the shop you need to read the title and look at the cover page so everyone listen carefully to the title of the story genre Fiction. Starry Night. Starry Night. So later on, we're going to find out how the title is related to the story we're studying. Let's move to the story now. Please, I want you to listen carefully. My lovely readers. Josie and Ling were good friends. Ling was happy Josie was her neighbor. Josie was happy Ling lived nearby too. Okay, so everyone, as you can see, there are two characters. So who can tell me, or so who can help me and tell me who are the first two characters in the story? Josie and Ling. Well done. So let's go ahead and underline everyone. Please, I want you to underline the characters. Use the pencil, please. Now underline. Josie and Lang. So we're going to talk, or the story will be talking about uh, the two girls, as you can see, Josie and Lang. So they are good friends and also neighbors. Let's continue the story. Remember, names are nouns. Josie and Lang couldn't wait for the school day to end. They planned a sleepover at Josie's house. They were going to sleep in a tent in Josie's backyard. So everyone, as we can see, Josie and Ling are friends and they are planning to do something. So what are they planning to do? They're planning to do a sleepover. So they planned a sleepover at Josie's house. I want you to underline this. So let's continue reading. 
As the class was leaving, Mr. Cortez said, Your weekend homework is to look at the nighttime sky and explain what you saw on Monday. The class grumbled. Why the unhappy sounds? Mr. Cortez asked. It will be fun looking at the sky at night. So, everyone, um, my question here is, who is Mr. Cortest? Who is Mr. Who is Mr. Cortest? Mr. Cortest is the teacher. Is the teacher. And what did he ask them to do? He asked them to look at the nighttime sky and explain what they saw on Monday. So he assigned a homework, okay, homework. He asked them to look at the nighttime sky and ex and explain what they or what they are going to see on Monday. So the class grumbled. So this means that so or let me say it in another way how did the students feel about the homework unhappy they feel unhappy so here we're using adjective words to describe the feelings of the students well done everyone so everyone before moving to the next page uh, look at the words over here three words the vocabulary words that we learned yesterday. So everyone, what does neighbor mean? Neighbor means the person who lives next to you. Excellent. And what does nighttime mean? Nighttime is the dark part of the day. Well done. And finally, grumbled. What does this word mean? It made a low rumbling sound. Well done. So everyone turn uh, the pages and go to page 200. So first of all, we're going to look at the pictures and I need your help everyone. So can you tell me what can you see? I can see two girls and I can see a man with a telescope. And what the girls are doing? They are playing. And what is, or let me say, uh, where are they playing? What is the setting? Josie's backyard. Excellent. Well done. And as you can see, the tent also over here. This is a tent. And here, the telescope. You can see the moon. And also the girls, as we said. So, everyone, please, I want you to listen carefully. We're going to read to see... Um, you know what's going to happen and remember Mr. Cortez asked them to uh, do a homework which is to uh, explain what can they see in the sky during night time so we will see if they are going to do the homework or no and remember they were unhappy about that let's start the girls arrived at Josie's house and were delighted to be sleeping outdoors. Josie said, I'm so happy that we get to sleep in the tent. It will be lots of fun. Then Ling said, I'll get the sleeping bags and flashlights. I brought flashlights so we can play games in the tent. So everyone, let's read and see the events of the story. Let's read together. I want you to listen carefully, please. The girls arrived at Josie's house and were delighted to be sleeping outdoors. Josie said, I'm so happy that we get to sleep in the tent. It will be lots of fun. Then Ling said, I'll get the sleeping bags and flashlights. I brought flashlights so we can play games in the tent. So, well done, and everyone, can you tell me how do the girls feel? If you look at their faces, you can know. So, how do the girls feel? Delighted. So, well done, they're feeling delighted. And what does it mean, everyone? Happy or pleased. Well done. So, please underline this word. Okay, well done. So, let's continue reading. 
Josie's dad poked his head inside the tent. Girls, it is a good time to do your homework now because it is getting dark, he said. Aw, they both complained. Dad, said Josie, do we have to now? Yes, I already set up the telescope. Okay, so everyone, what uh, did their dad ask them to do? Do their homework. To do the homework. And everyone, do you think the two girls will listen to their dad and do the homework? Yes. But what are they feeling about this? Not happy. Not happy because here, if you see, they said, oh, okay, and they complained about the homework, but we will see what might happen next so let's continue reading Ling said I hope this won't take too long Josie looked up and spotted a crescent moon did you know the moon's light comes from the Sun said Josie it's funny that it's called moonlight yes said Ling who was still thinking about playing in the tent Josie's dad smiled at the girls and said, See the stars in the sky? Those points of bright light can form shapes. You can see the Big Dipper, he said. It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. The Big Dipper. So everyone, what did the two girls see in the sky? A crescent moon and... A group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky, which is called the Big Dipper. So, let's underline these over here. They saw a crescent moon and also a group of stars. We call it the Big Dipper. Well done. Excellent. So, also remember the word moonlight. What does it mean? The light of the moon. The glow of the moon. The glow of the moon. And remember, there is a fact here that uh, the moon's light comes from the sun. This is a fact, everyone. And also, we've studied this in science before. So, everyone, before reading um, these two pages, and please, I want you to turn the page and to go to page uh let me say 202 so look at the two girls and tell me about their feelings how do they feel happy they feel happy and excited so everybody i want to say something to you at the beginning they don't want to do their homework and you know their dad asked them to do it and he set up the telescope and called them to do it. So what I want to say to you is you need to listen to your mom and dad and especially when they call you to do your homework please listen to them. See look at the two girls they're very happy now and their dad encouraged them to do their homework and also the teacher will be so happy when they uh, give the homework to the teacher and plus he will give them high marks I think so you need also to do this okay everyone so let's continue reading Josie's dad showed her how to look through the telescope Wow that's more stars than I ever dreamed of I never imagined there could be so many it was Ling's turn to look Ling cried out, I see a bright light moving in the sky. That's a shooting star, said Josie's dad. This is fun, said Ling. I really enjoy looking at the stars. So everyone, as you can see, uh, they are very excited and they can see uh, more stars and also, um, let me say, shooting stars. Do you see? Here's the shooting star. They can see all this because, or they can see all these, these things because they're using the telescope and the, to the telescope will help them to see the small things more bigger. 
So everyone, there are two words here, um, and you know these words, we've studied them yesterday. So everyone, also I want to say to you that there are two words over here, and you know we've studied yesterday the meaning of these words. So I need your help. I need someone to help me. So who is the smart one? Can say the meaning of the first word here. Can we read the word together? Dream. And what does, what does the word mean? If you dreamed about something you want to happen. Or you imagined it happening. Well done. So, and what does the word here mean? Enjoy. Something you like doing. Well done. Something you like to do it. So, let's move to the final part or the last part of the story listen carefully here we go we are about to finish the story of today i think we've seen enough of the nighttime sky said josie's dad you girls can go play now Ah, dad can't we keep looking asked josie this is really fun yes said ling we have had an adventure already and we haven't even played in the tent yet. You're right, Ling, said Josie. This has been one exciting night. So everyone, as we can see, the two girls are so excited and happy, and they want to explore more. So how do we know that they are happy? Because remember, at the beginning of the story, they don't feel happy about their homework, but now we can see that they are excited. So. If you look over here, can we look for the part that shows the two girls are happy? They are happy because they said they had an adventure, plus because they said this has been one exciting night. Well done. So they said we have had an adventure and also they said this has been one exciting night. So everyone, my question here also, what does this word mean? Can you say the word please? Adventure. And what does the word mean? It means doing something exciting and not usual. Or unusual, excellent. So everyone, I have a question at the end of the story. So, the girls look up into the sky using just their eyes, right? At the beginning, I mean. Then they look through a telescope. So, how is what they see with their eyes different from what they see through the telescope? So, let's think about this. So, if you are outside and you only use your eyes to see or to watch the sky for sure you're gonna see the things small but if you use the telescope and also we've studied this in the science subject you can see things more bigger so let me say something to you when the girls look up in the sky they can see some larger things like the moon and the bright stars that form a shape when they look through the telescope, they can see many more stars. They even see a shooting star. So there are two questions here. Let's read them together. Listen carefully. Make connections. What did you learn about the nighttime sky after reading this story? Compare what the girls saw in the nighttime sky to what you have seen in the nighttime sky. So I want you to brainstorm and think about um, how to answer these two questions. So what did you learn about the nighttime sky after reading this story? Yes? I learned that the sky has so many stars and it has a moon. And sometimes you cannot see all these stars because you are using your eyes but if you will use a telescope you can see 
more and more stars. Excellent. So compare what the girls saw in the nighttime sky to what you have seen in the nighttime sky. The girls saw a shooting star and a crescent moon. A crescent moon. Well done. And stars. I saw stars and I saw an eclipsed moon and that's it. That's all I usually see. Mm -hmm. So everyone also I want you to think about the things that you usually see in the night time sky and compare these things to uh, what the girls saw in the night time sky and well done so everyone finally we're done with the story and I am sure that all of you like the story because it has some science facts about the sky and what I want you to do is to keep this information in your mind because you're going to use them later in the science subject. So the gender of the story is fiction as I said to you so far. Fiction has made up characters and events and also has dialogue. And dialogue means when characters in the story talk to each other. We call this dialogue. So everyone here, let's move to talk about some points. I want you to go to page 199 and listen carefully because we will read the questions and answer them together. So my first question is, what is the relationship between Josie and Lang? They are friends and they are also neighbors. Well done. Why do these two characters want to school day to end? Because they planned on making a sleepover. And why does the class grumble? Because they don't want to do the homework. Well done. And how do Josie and Blank properly feel about the homework? Unhappy. So everyone, let's go to page 200, please. And we need to answer these questions together. Let's start with the question number one. Why were the girls delighted? Because they were sleeping outdoors. And why was Josie so happy? Because her friends came to visit her. Well done. Why did the father say it's a good time to do your homework? Because it was getting darker and it was night time. Well done. What did Josie and Blaine use to look at the night sky? They used a telescope. Well done. They used a telescope. So everyone here, we have task number one and task number two, so you can choose one of them or uh, if you want to complete two of them, you can do that as well. See everyone, um, find the characters and setting in page 199. Remember we have two settings, one of them, especially in page 199 is the class room and what about the characters how many characters do we have in the story four characters okay let's check the answers so we have Ling yes Josie's dad teacher and also Josie, Josie. excellent and the, the setting of the story is the classroom well done so everyone here, I want you to go to page 199 and 200, then complete the following sentences. Read the sentences here. So let's try to do this together. So everyone here, task number two, read, pay, read page 199 and 200 and then complete the following sentences. In this story, Mr. Cartes Ask the students to do their weekend homework and they have to look at the nighttime sky and explain what they can see. The girls have a sleepover in Josie's backyard. They are happy to meet and play in a tent. So let's move to this part. So everyone, why is Story Night a fiction story? It's a fiction story because it has made up characters and events and I want to ask you something which is the last question for today uh, why do you think the author choose this title Starry Night 
And if you are the writer or the author of the story, what title you are gonna choose for this story? Okay, let me answer the first part because the two girls in the story explored the sky and they uh, saw a sky full of stars. That's why the author, I think, chose this to be the title of the story. So what about you? What is your opinion? So please don't forget to upload a picture of your work 